Hey everybody, welcome back. Released in 1996 by Rare Nintendo, the fighting fury that was KI makes its way to the N64. The claws may have been trimmed in this iteration, but make no mistake, this one will rip your throat out with a stunning combo. It's one of the best fighters on the system. As far as gameplay and controls go, Killer Instinct Gold is probably one of the best 2D fighters on the Nintendo 64. It's just unfortunate that we have to play the game this controller, and uh, I am not a big fan of the C buttons. I really, really hate the C buttons. It's not a knock on rare. I mean, they, just, they did the best they could with this controller. I hate the C buttons. Just my opinion. The insane combos are back in full stride. There's a plethora of options to start and lengthen your combos, which feels much more easier to do in this game than the previous one, at least to me. You have your quick, medium, and fierce punches and kicks at your disposal, as well as special moves, two ultimates per character, stage fatalities, easier to pull off combo breakers, and of course, the spectacular ultra combos. But wait, there's more. Throw in a super meter that fills up when you take damage, allowing you to do super moves, super linkers, a hidden fifth ender, and the ability to throw your opponent. There's a lot on your plate. KI2 added a lot of new features into the game, but some of the things that they removed or renamed, specifically renamed, are the Danger Moves, that was just a, such a cool name, they renamed it to Ultimates, and that's kind of, eh, bland, I don't know, I don't like it, too close to Ultras, I guess, I just like the Danger Move, you know, just like this, had a good ring to it, you know what I mean? Uh, they also removed uh, Humiliations, which I absolutely loved, I mean, who didn't like seeing Saber Wolf dance like a freaking nut? I mean, and a disco music? I mean, that was just sweet. KI okay, Gold was a port of Killer Instinct 2 in the arcades. You select one of ten different characters and take them to battle the others, as well as a mirror match before meeting up with the head honcho, Gargos, at the end. Defeat him on normal mode or higher and you get the character's ending. The higher the difficulty, the more story you get at the end. But unlike the arcade game, you do not get multiple endings depending on what you do in the game, which is a sad, sad thing. KI Gold features quite a number of different modes. There's arcade, there's team, team battle, there is the practice mode, training, focus training, and those are all really sweet, but the mode I love best is uh, the tournament mode where up to eight people can do battle to see who is the superior KI player. Nice. The sound effects are just as superb as the SNES one. While the music isn't as catchy as the first, it's still a good assortment. The graphics took the biggest hit though. Most of the characters look blurry or muddy, very pixelated, not really good. The backgrounds are a quasi 3D plane. You still fight in two dimensions, but the camera rotates around you and it doesn't look that great. Even the stage fatalities look pretty unimpressive compared to the original Killer Instinct. But those are just small gripes, it's still a stellar and fast game. KI Gold is a pretty impressive uh, 2D fighting game and one of the best on the N64. Yeah, I know Smash Brothers is on the N64, but I really like this. There's a lot of great modes. I mean, a lot of different, uh, a lot of different uh, variety of moves, and it's just really, really cool. Really, really neat. If you don't have it, pick it up because uh, you may like it. I really do enjoy this game, and I almost like it more than the SNES counterpart. Almost. So I'm Max in Pack 24. If you keep liking this shit, keep commenting below, keep subscribing. We're almost at 200. And uh, thanks for watching, by the way. Until we meet again. Mm -hmm.